I gotta hit all of these before Nate melts. Welcome to Inventory Full. We've got so many headlines to talk about that I'm not even gonna bother saying to them to you all now. Let's just go. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk. We talk movie. So, like, why do companies decide to drop news day of the show? Built a completely different show, we do and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, rumors are real. Everything's real. I just needed something to uh, express that. Welcome to Inventory Full. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Mark Vidonica. That's Nate Miller. I'm Nate Miller. That's Daisy Shuttleworth. <laughs> I'm Daisy Shuttleworth. That's Patrick Blazer Dees. Yo, Patrick Blazer Dees, what is up? Uh, What's up, guys? Hey, welcome back, sir. Thank you. It's good to be back. You've been on a, a hell of a, of a journey. I've been all over the globe. And, I know. And how's it? How have you uh, gone? Any I elevators? Los Angeles. No, no elevators. Good. Thank God. Yeah. Thank totally. goodness. All Great. ground levels, the hotels. Yeah. It's been good. A lot of switch. <laughs> a lot of. Uh, lot of. Well, speaking of that, yes. since since you are jet setting, uh, Switch has been described as a travel Correcto. console. Yes. What have you been? Have you been using? Your, I had, what have just, you been playing on Switch? Totally. So like I um yeah not Zelda, not the things that you would think. It is NBA playoff time. I'm a huge NBA guy. I've been playing uh, NBA 2K on the Switch. I've been playing as the Rockets. My boy James Harden is kicking ass in my league, mm -hmm. going 44 and 10 every night. It's like play like a little bit of a hog ball. But yeah, I've been playing that on the on the road. I've been playing like it's again bite size. You can pick it up. You can play. It's a, I know every, I know it's not a revelation to anybody who owns a Switch, but like it's a cool little machine. Have you played any any of the two Ks on console on home console? All of them. I play them every year. This is the first year I was like, I'm not going to be around enough to play at home, so I'm going to play on. The so Switch. how does it feel compared to the Switch compared to past years when you've been playing it at home? That's super similar. I think it is good. a it is an good. awesome machine. So that's a good port. Yeah. Is that the only thing you've been playing? Also, I want to throw to a visual. <laughs> I just came back from the Cayman Islands where I I'm played. <laughs> Catch the manor, the stingray. Uh, I was in the Cayman Islands for the past week, and I dove in and caught a almost seven foot uh, stingray. That's named Scarface, and you can see oh, I'm scary. burying her her face. So the the women are the big ones, the guys are the much smaller ones. And they t they instructed if you're going to be dumb enough to catch one of these things, keep its face in your chest because it can smell your fear and knows your heartbeat if you're calm. So if you, I've got two pictures where I like actually just held this thing for like ten minutes, uh, and this is all I've been playing. I've been like two K on the Switch, and then missing God of War. And there's a, there's an up close picture with me in Scarface. Terrifying. It's got a fucked up boat face. You can't really see it from this. Uh, but this is what I've been playing instead of games. This Boater is, this is what I've been doing. So this is out in the Cayman Islands. So that's why those are the games. That and two K. I know. I know. Like I. Uh, He's happy boy. I am. I am a happy boy. <laughs> <laughs> I am so very excited. She was. A, she was. A, she was a peach. She's, it looks like she was a, she was a great. stingray. Wonderful. Uh, all muscle. No, no, a peach. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm killing Nate. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that congratulations. Was... Um, <laughs> uh, so we got to do so last week. We talked about how how we never really got to play anything anymore. Yeah. Together. We did. Yes. So we went home and we played Sea of Thieves. I know. I saw in the Discord. I was very jealous. I was, it was like, <laughs> it looked fun. It and was. I saw in Nate's tweet like team building, playing Sea of Thieves, and I'm like, damn man. Mm -hmm. I was like boarding an airplane. It was Kill fun. Now. It's before their their next big patch where they're gonna. So one of the things that I, I heard them adding was you'll be able to give stuff to fellow players. So like, ah, oh, I'm out of bananas. Here's one. Go ahead and crunch. Uh, but uh, then they're gonna be adding their first big uh, content patch. But it was nice just being back in the world. Was it really it? was. Yeah. yeah. Anything new that they've been like, like uh, other than the the banana thing, like a lot more. They content? spread the cosmetics out, mm -hmm. so now okay. things are at specific places. So it oh, gives interesting. Some some of the uh, outposts a little bit more of an identity now, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, not everything no, is available at one yeah. island. And yeah, I add, like that. That's it. Seems more, like that seems smart. Of some of the other ones. Okay. Been. Yeah, and we, we we didn't have any big dealings with any other ships, but no. it was just well, well I mean, we kind of did. Um, oh, until the very end, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it's it, it was a it was a fun time, and that was kind of my main gaming thing for the weekend. But Stacey, what what else did you play this weekend? Uh, you know what? I got in some more Far Cry Five. Hey! Yes! I still haven't completed a territory. Uh, <clears throat> not one. All right, look. That spoiler cast is wait, never happened. Wait, so wait, really? Not look. one. I know. I know. Are you bouncing look. around the yes, different? Okay, I'm bouncing I was around because there's so, no way you wouldn't hit the checkpoint. Well, all right. So here's the thing: in good old John's territory, I am at one of the checkpoints. Shoot it you with know, the bliss bullets. Forced plane combat? Yeah. <laughs> Not cool. Um, the so end of Johns. I'm, right? I, yes. Yeah, I know where you are. Uh, so I'm, I'm about to put that shit on easy and just power through that it's nonsense. Not that hard. Um, I beg to differ. You're playing <laughs> so on sticks. I 
beg to differ. Are you playing on PC? I, I have, I'm playing on PC. Oh. Uh, you don't have a controller to plug in? I'm about to. So, <laughs> make it better. Yes. So, <laughs> can't do it. Yes. No. Do not try to fly anything with a mouse oh, and keyboard. Well, this is what I've been no, doing no, 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 because no, no, I'm no, 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 dumb no, no, as hell. I keep a controller plugged in for this game, uh, uh, Wildlands, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything like that. that. You I can see that. No, you no. need the sticks I can for see sure. That. Yeah, uh, it, it was not well, a good time. And how far have you gotten in that encounter, though? Well, not very far. Not we got far. up in the air. Okay, okay, all right. That's and a then, start. And then we were chasing him around, and we fell out of the air. Okay. And then spent the rest of, the, or the better part of a half hour, searching for another plane to get back up in the air. And you know what? By then, I was just, just done. No. Like, you know what? We're putting this down for tonight. Going somewhere else. I just plug so, your PlayStation controller. In. I'm gonna try that. But anyways, I've, I've been over in Jacob's territory, messing around over there, and that's. that's Better. Pro tip when you get back to that, I actually ended up, when you kill his plane, he comes down in a parachute, right? This is other stage to it. And I think you and I were talking about this. I had a hard time hitting him as I'm flying around. He's this little tiny target. So I just threw the propellers into him and ejected out and it triggered the cutscene. Yeah, so that's, just hit him with your plane. That's probably more just my Hit speed. him with the plane. Pro <laughs> Get it done. I would just run into him in my plane, yeah, in the plane, yeah. repeatedly if, you know, that were an option. Perfect. So. But is it still fun? It is still very okay, fun. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, Robbie and Chad, she jumped out the, out of the plane oh, mid-flight. He's mid right. Mid-flight. No, 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 this, not fell. This is she true. jumped. This okay. is true. I did jump <laughs> out you, of Robbie. the plane. <laughs> Clarification. I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> um, helpful is not ejecting yourself from a plane. Resident fact checker, Robbie Shuttleworth at Nerds Doing Stuff. Thank you, sir. He's a nerd doing stuff. Uh, hey, what'd you play today? Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I played a lot of the new PUBG map. They oh, really? Oh, the, the small uh, one? Yeah, they opened and? up the experimental server uh, to everybody this this run, so Dang I got it. to do that. It's cool. You do, I really like, you it, like it. it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty map. I like the colors, the tropical setting, um, and there's a lot of ver- varied different places. There's a lot of cities. Some of the cities are really dense. Some of them are not really dense. Cool. Um, there's also like lots of cool areas like. Uh, there's like a Aztec like altar thing that you can go inside of. There's like a cave cool. area that has like an underground structure inside, and there's like a hole in the top of the mountain so you can like parachute in, and it's like a bloodbath inside. Sick. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool spots, and it's cool because the map is smaller, so the games are shorter. How much shorter? I know I was gonna ask. What's the average mat like match time now? I mean, it always it always depends on how you play sure. with that game. So I would say at most. You know, 25, 30 minutes. Okay. For like a, and that's a long game yeah. on that map because you get to like the second and third circles, and it's already what would be like some of the last circles on the regular map because, because even like it's a smaller map, but there's still 100 people. Right. So even if you land and there's not a lot of deaths early, everybody kind of lands far apart. As soon as it gets pushed in a right. little bit, people are running into each other. There's not as many vehicles that I've seen. Mm. There's a lot of trees for cover and stuff, but uh, I don't know. Uh, a very cool, interesting environment to actually play outside of like buildings and stuff. Dude, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Do you think this will bring on any new vehicles or new vehicle types? Uh, not necessarily new vehicle types. There's a new types, vehicle but... they have on Miramar that they added recently. It's like a convertible. Oh, okay. It's really fun to drive. I don't think they're going to add anything... Yeah, drop with the top Maybe down. Maybe like an ATV to this map, but this map doesn't really need vehicles. It is really small. If you find yourself out of the zone, there are enough vehicles that will get you to where you need to go, mm-hmm. but it's never like like on Erangel where you'll be up at the, the the top one top left corner and you need to get to the bottom right corner and like you have to drive. There's no way you would make it otherwise. Okay, right. In this, there's enough of a distance that even if you did have to drive, like most of the time you would make it and then you could just walk. All the right, rest of the that's way. not bad. Um, I played that and I played Destiny. Oh, I've boy. been playing oh, the did. expansion still. I've been t- downloaded. I have not started. Well, not really on the me. expansion. Like, okay, well, the expansion is trash. It's the same as Osiris. Gosh. It's super short. It's it's two hours. The story. The story. Is, it's four missions. You go through. It's recycled strikes. It's all the same stuff that we saw before. Um, what's getting me to play again is the balance pass. The okay. balance pass on the weapons, the mobility change, the movement speed change, the balance pass on the exotics. All the exotics are different. Gravi- Graviton Lance isn't trash now. It's actually one of okay. the strongest exotics. Uh, they're giving lots of pe- people lots of options. They've Dude, that's rad. Pulse rifles. They, bu- you know, there's there's quite a few different sandbox changes, and then also the rank system for PvP. So there's like a okay. an Overwatch style rank system for quick play that basically just goes up the more you play. You can go on a win streak to increase it faster, but you don't lose any from losing games. And then in the competitive playlist, there is a 
traditional MMR rank sure, system sure, sure. where you lose LP when you lose and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, and there's even they've even gated certain things. Like there's a weapon, a pulse rifle, a Red Rick's Claymore, that you can only get by reaching the third rank in the competitive playlist. Hmm. There's that with a couple other raid assignments. I haven't stepped into Spire of Stars yet, the new raid. I've looked at it a little bit, but I did do Eater Worlds, which is the raid from Osiris. Yep. Um, which I hadn't done yet this weekend, and that was actually really cool. Pretty dope. Uh, yeah, it's a very unique fight. One of the more difficult ones, I think, um, in, in that it requires teamwork and communication like more than any other one I've seen. Because yep. there's so much RNG in it that it's not, you can't just kind of like autopilot and run through the motions. Right, 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 right. You have to make the calls. It's it's different every run. And I've heard that this this uh, raid is all near impossible. Like like there only there's a handful of teams in the world that have even beaten this new one. Yeah, a, a part of it is too they've gated uh, a lot of the ways for you to rank up and gain light that were easier before. So like the clan engrams used it. to be all powerful. Yep. Now they're not. Oh, uh, they're not. A lot of exotics are not guaranteed to drop uh, powerful engrams. Okay. Not, so you won't get light from that way. There's a lot of few other ways um, that they've kind of gated it, and also. You have to remember raid gear is a thing now, too, which yep. just came from Osiris, and now even more so in this expansion, there's, like, raid gear mods specifically, which I had no idea about. Yeah. And some of the difference in these, like, we're talking get a melee kill, get 20% increase in all damage sources. Like, that's that's massive. Jesus. Uh, so when you have stats like that spread yeah. across all five of your things, you're going to be able to take on these totally. 380s much better than other people. Hmm. Have you so st- a lot of sorry, go ahead. have you stepped into the the horde mode? That's the other thing that I'm dying to like hear about. Is yeah, it fun? escalation protocol. I, I mean, it. I can see the that potential sounds like a Tom to Cruise it. Movie, it's it? just it does. It's just um, he's running really fast in the trailer. Sorry, it's just the same. It's the same thing of <laughs> like it's gated so high. It's it's at 380 is like oh. where the creep the mob starts. So like you you finish the story and you're nowhere near there you know even if, if you're crazy high you'll be like 350 360 maybe oh, something so, to aspire to so it, re- it but it requires like it really requires like at least six people it's taking people like nine people to do it now because Jeez. we're all so low light yeah but there's no way there's really no good way of matchmaking that people have just been kind of like forcing it rejoining and like reinviting and trying to hop sounds terrible yeah so there's a lot of issues i have with it but i like that they're trying to do something else so all in all I wouldn't say it's really worth coming back to right now unless yep. you're really into PvP. Um, I am not. Yeah. So <laughs> outside of that, the, as, in terms of content, that wise, like there's lots of stuff to grind for. I heard that the the new public or the new um, area in, on Mars is pretty fun to explore. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's it's is definitely it? it's like a full planet. Yeah, they cool. put a lot more detail into it. Um, the public event, new public events are kind of meh, but yeah, and and I'm, also it's really cool seeing Bray Tech, um, but again, like. It's just that you think the story is one thing and it's not. I mean, that's what Osiris was, and that's why I stopped. I am worried about Destiny and Bungie as a whole. Yeah, right. I mean, I have. I was talking to Steve in the booth a little bit before this. I have hope because they did that. They had that summit meeting with all of the creators and stuff. And so these two expansions, these were basically done. Like right, 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 right. right. right? So it's not like they could have changed too much or go I agree, direction. I agree. And looking at the balance updates and yep. the sandbox updates, which is the reason why I'm still playing, I'm playing Crucible because I'm enjoying it. Sure. And other people are playing, so there's actually people playing. Um, that is the stuff that gives me hope that they're going in the right direction. So whatever the next big update is, this will be the one that they will have started only after launch yep. with all the feedback. This is going to make or break it, I think. I, I think you're right. My point is that like they trotted out this last, like, uh, and I don't want to spend too much time on this section, Mark, so tell me if we need to move on. But they trotted out all the Vicarious Vision guys who are the leads on this one, right? So my, my concern is that like if, if they're pushing that as the faces of the Destiny expansion, I know that uh, Activision is not entirely like really pleased with uh, how Destiny 2 performed. I wouldn't be surprised if they just bought that IP and Bungie went and left and did something else, and they spun up other studios to continue to make annual installments of that, like hmm. Vicarious Visions and others, and let Bungie go do something else. Part of Bungie's contract with Activision says they get 10% of their workforce, gets to, at any point, go explore the next thing. Luke Smith's gone from Bungie, from Bungie like as it relates to this. He was the lead on, on this one. So I'm very concerned that they're kind of on to their next thing, and they might be done with the Activision relationship. Well, that, I mean, that kind of goes into some of the some of the leak talk mm. that, that came up last week. Um, cause one of the, one of the games listed in the big Walmart leak was Destiny Comet, Comet yep. which was, which, you know, um, we're going to talk about the validity of all of that stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to skip around just because I want to skip. Um, yeah, Damn it. might as well. Uh, the last thing I played was the blaze blue cross tag battle beta. It's fun, but not a great fighting game on the switch unless you have the pro controller. Did you play? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Everyone's like, Oh, 
<laughs> Did you play any more God of War? No. I haven't had a chance to. Uh, okay. Having having the Switch like in in me or in me with me in bed. <laughs> yeah. Boy. <laughs> Well, oh, boy. Don't, not a good time for a boy. Yeah. Not no. a good time. Um, so, so skipping around, okay, uh, one of the things that I wanted to, to mention is Mila Jovovich is now attached to the Monster Hunter movie that's coming from Paul W. S. Anderson, the same guy who directed her in the Resident Evil movies. Uh, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, it's the Monster Hunter movie is said to have a budget of fifty million dollars, which doesn't sound like a lot if you're trying to make big, complex monsters. I th- th- that guy's got a talent for stretching a budget, though. I feel like yeah, he can make some but, shit on I mean, no money. If you go back to the the first Mortal Kombat, uh, all of the the CG in that movie not great. Eighteen dollars was the budget of that movie, <laughs> I, and so like you feel like you got that. On that front, right, he did so, a great job. Crushing Seven, it. Seventeen was on Goro, <laughs> but all of the stuff, all of the stuff from Outworld, not like uh, uh, Reptile. D- doesn't age well. No. So, uh, some something's gonna happen at. I mean, Mila Jovovich. I mean, people are gonna say, "Oh, hey, she's she's that woman from the, the Resident Evil movies." Yeah. And and maybe that'll get people I hope it's to share the universe. I oh just my hope. God. I please. Well, no. Can one's, we hope? one's Capcom. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, they're all Capcom. Yeah, they're Capcom. Yeah. Please be a shared universe. How bad Mila Jovovich uh, reprising her role as Alice in the... What? <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. Uh, skipping around a bit. Hey, uh, Anthem. Yeah. Uh, if we want to talk about some... <laughs> I so uh, We got some bits uh, for shared universe theory. Um, <laughs> no. uh, that would be an expansive essay on the topic coming out within the next month. Uh, Casey Hudson from Bioware um, wanted to make sure that uh, whether you play with friends or by yourself, that Anthem is a story that creates unforgettable characters and unforgettable experiences. And right now, I think it's way too early to even... Like, I still don't really care about Anthem. Can you explain to me what he said? He talked okay. a lot and said nothing! Yeah, so this so statement the, kills me. Here's some quotes. We create worlds of adventure, conflict, and companionship that inspire you! To become the hero of your story. I'm inspired. Uh, however we design it, we always want to capture the special feeling of being on a journey with memorable companions. I talked last time about Anthem being a, quote, story that you can experience with friends. There were, understandably, some questions and some concerns about story in multiplayer. Specifically, what if I don't want to play with randos? That's a quote. What if I don't have friends that I can play the game with? And I like to be the one making choices in my story. If it's multiplayer, won't the story get watered down? I think the reason people are concerned about whether these things are possible in a multiplayer game is because it just hasn't been solved well before. With Anthem, we're taking the pro- this problem head on and apply directly to the forehead and structuring the game in the entire game designed to provide a specific solution for this. Uh, uh, there's uh, more. Excuse me, Casey. Casey, yes, what is that solution? He doesn't say we anything. We have a solution. God, it's a I, great solution. I, I, I love Casey Hudson. I, I genuinely think that man's a genius, and that is a lot of great speak without saying shit. He said mm-hmm. nothing that entire thing. No, he's saying that he understands he the understands, concerns that people have and that they and there's that they built somewhere. their game around dealing with that. I think that's fine. He doesn't have to give away what the solution is. The game's not coming out for another year. Nah, I Q Q1 2019. End of fiscal no. quarter. I, I think it, I, March, oh, God, March 2019. They, I think I even think that's a rush because last I, year we got a tech demo that may not even affect the final gameplay. I, th- I think it's March. <laughs> I think it's March. All right. Even, uh, we'll see. Um, well, that's apparently Bioware is going to be sharing a lot more details on Anthem at the EA Play event, which yeah. we're trying to get into. Um, and after it, hmm, it's due out by Mar- well, it says it's due out by March by March 2019. Yep. But whether it sticks to that or not. Um, we'll find out, and also they're going to be having an early access thing for it. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's good yep. news. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, really interested in that game. Are you Nate at all? Do you care? I mean, were you interested in what they showed to this point? Uh, I mean, I'm interested in the concept. I'm, I have. I really don't have a, a dog in the race it's either fair. way. It's mm-hmm. one of those games that, like, if it comes out and it gets really good reviews, I'll, I'll probably play it. Yeah. I mean, at this point, because we're doing the show, I'll probably play it. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, like, it's not really... I like Bioware a lot, me but too. I'm not... I don't know. I'm rooting for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Point. yeah. If it's yeah. great, I hope so. Yeah, I hope too. it's great. If yeah. you do get a dog, get a rescue. Uh, another thing I want to talk about before we get more heavily into E3 talk... Kill me. Is the uh, that Sting Link is going to be coming to mobile? Uh, something that was announced is that the their controller uh, they're expanding their Bluetooth accessibility to be able to work with more mobile devices. So soon you'll be able to stream your Steam game. You'll be able to use your mobile device, iPads, uh, v- various tablets, and and even phones uh, to stream your Steam games, 
which I I think is cute. No, okay. No, I don't. I just don't understand why it's a big deal. No, I just don't. Under, I don't. I don't understand. So like, I have a game on my computer mm-hmm. in yep. my Steam library. Yep. I'm streaming it to my phone, Correct. so it's running on my computer. Running on your computer. But it's I'm just, just seeing a, it's it on my just phone. a mirror it's solution. A no, totally. It is just so a mirror. Is this, so I can like. The only thing I can see is if you if this makes it easier to play it on your TV, but like I'm not gonna play a, I'm not gonna play Crusader Kings on my phone in my house. No, but like, I but, can but play on my what PC. If you, what if you're on the road though, right? Like so they maybe and and I don't Crusader Kings is a bad. So I, I will you, never use it either. So you can do it from outside the house. Correct. So it's running on your computer. Running on your computer. It's just a mirror solution. Similarly, well, I don't know what the it latency. would have to be something like Crusader King because you're not going to play Dota oh, on yeah, nothing in your Twitch. car. You're right. You're, you're right. Not, you're you're not right. going to play yeah. Counter Strike. You're, you're not going to totally play PUBG. Right. Like, I just like Crusader King. The UI is so small. I was yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, what else you play? Or, but or like, like Civilization. Like, sure. Or like yeah. Something Minecraft or like where latency doesn't matter. Right. I'm with you. I don't know. It's not for me at at all. I'm I. I mean, not my jam. I'm always interested in making that kind of stuff more mobile. Yeah. Totally. Here's something that you're that you that you probably haven't heard too often it worked well with the vita um it, there's uh there, the, uh, being able to stream fr- being able to have a vita and and streaming yeah, full, they were ahead full of their games time, though. it was now every now everybody like i go to a hotel and they don't have chromecast and i'm disappointed <laughs> like you know we it's, it's different so the the mm-hmm. details are that the, there's a steam link app that's going to be launching on may 21st for android and ios devices and if they're connected to a five gigahertz network or wired by ethernet They'll be uh, those devices will be able to play their full library of Steam games. Like if you have a, a wire coming from if you're at a hotel, I think to to pop in. Um, but yeah, it will support the Steam controller, MFI controllers, and other peripherals. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I am interested now that I understand it better. This is good. This is good. <laughs> it's very nice. That's very nice. My wife. Um, the last My thing wife. before we go into like full sort of E3, like oh, the massive E3 biz and, and game previews things. Uh, sad news today. Uh, Cliffy B is taking a break and Boss Key Studios is shutting down. Bummer. It was a real sad yeah. thing to say. Um, it, he announced that the studio was effectively no more this afternoon on Twitter. Um, part of his his statement said, Lawbreakers was a great game that unfortunately failed to gain traction, and in a last-ditch attempt, we scrambled to do our take on the huge Battle Royale genre with Radical Heights, which was well-received. However, it was too late. Uh, he added that while video games will forever be a part of who he is, uh, and he hopes to make something new someday, he's going to be taking some time off to reflect. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's sad to see uh, a mind like Cliffy B and all of those folks at Boss Key losing their jobs. Um, but um, hopefully they'll be able to get picked up sooner and than later. It's a bummer too because I think he really took a swing at that like middle tier price point, right? Like mm-hmm. with Lawbreakers, it was like a thirty dollar title. It wasn't that full sixty dollar MSRP. And I've been wanting people to explore that scale more anyway and be successful with it. I didn't like that game. I didn't pay attention to it either. So I'm part of the guilty party. But like I'm, I'm bummed that that experiment wasn't a success. Yeah, uh, not so much. I played that game. I was not a fan. Oh no, I, I'm with you. I'm, I didn't play the game either. I'm sure. I don't know that it was very good, but like my, my it was but such the, a high profile attempt. experiment, yeah, yeah. and yes. it, right. I would have liked that concept. to have hit totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, <clears throat> it's it's also sad to see them that they did that, which was so different and original, and then right to try and save themselves, they turn around and have to. Do they took it. a swing, and it was a good one too. Like, uh, didn't didn't uh, Fortnite go down? Like. During like the radical heights, like right, like right as they launched, Fortnite went down for a period of hours, and like Ninja played radical heights. Like I feel like they got a lot of publicity there for a few minutes, but mm. yeah, they didn't stick. And I don't know, and because of the the popularity of, of streaming culture, I don't know how many people were actually playing. Were if enough people were playing it to really make it catch on? No. Yeah, I mean, I think it was more of a novelty thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All the streamers yeah. I saw playing it were just kind of raggy. On yeah, yeah, no, I yeah, agree. you jumped on and played a few rounds. Yep. You know, BMX then. though, man. <laughs> yeah, I want I, more BMX in games. I've been saying that forever. Hey, we you haven't had a, a Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX in a long time. That's all I'm BMX saying. BMX Triple X. You said it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, so, all right. So, there's. I, I, I kind of lumped it all together as E3 stuff because Ooh. it's like new releases and, and links and leaks and rumors and all of these things. It all started last week when Walmart posted, supposedly posted, a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't been announced yet. Now, some people are. Uh, are claiming that some of this is true. Some, a lot of companies aren't responding to it. Um, but after what sort of got leaked today, you wa- or not leaked, but revealed today and confirmed today, uh, it's 
you got to wonder what, what, what some of this is. All right, so Walmart Canada uh, put up listings for a lot of unannounced games and some that are. So, like, it's yep. one of those things where it's right. like, oh, all right, sure. It has enough credibility to look twice at it. Yeah, like, yep. none of these have dates. It was just listings. Uh, Rage 2, which we know is a thing. Beyond Good and Evil 2, Gears of War 5, Assassin's Creed, just Assassin's Creed, mm. uh, Forza Horizon 5, Splinter Cell, Destiny Comet, Just Cause 4, Borderlands 3, Super Smash Brothers, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which was called Final Fantasy 7 Remake. That's one of the ones that made me go, come on. You're like, really? There should be a name there. Uh, NBA 2K19, WWE 2K19, Lego DC Villains, Insurgency Sandstorm, and Dragon Quest 2. Uh, some of these games haven't even been in any sort of note that these are coming. But, Stacy, did you, what do you think of all of this stuff? I think there are, are titles on there that are likely and then some that just seem kind of far fetched. Mm -hmm. Um I I don't yeah, I don't know whether to chalk it up to just a complete eye. Although because something like this has happened before, right? Where they've put up Several titles, yeah, yeah, that yeah. aren't actually coming out. So on that front, you have, you definitely have to look twice at it. I, see, I disagree. I think retailer leaks are almost always really accurate. They have to build yeah. product pages beforehand. They want to capitalize mm -hmm. on those pre orders. I think somebody just didn't click a box that said publish on whatever date, and I think they built the, the page with some insider information. I think most of this is legit. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I, I'm interested to see what the Assassin's Creed is. That's the one that actually mm -hmm. throws me for a loop because I would bet this is a Watch Dogs year. That's the one that really has me go. I how what are they doing Maybe. for Assassin's Creed? Um, but they were just told, hey, look, there's a new installment. There's going to be a box copy of something, and maybe it's a remaster. Maybe. Um, maybe. That we, we don't know, but they were told, look, there's a box copy. Have a placeholder ready for it. So I don't – I think most of this is super legit. Like, we knew could most be, of these. Uh, like a Game of the Year edition. Totally, like right? DLC yeah. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. could be. But we know, I mean, every one of these, like – Gears 5 is surprising because if anything, it should really be a Halo – like, the, the cadence Halo has year. been mm – -hmm. Yeah. But this and, is a Halo year. So I don't know, although, man, the coalition staff, I mean, there are like 500 people up there. So, like, their ability to crank out another game in two years would not be surprising. No. Um, and, and who knows when they started work? If They probably had some of the team dedicated to working on the next totally. one as it was finishing up. I mean, up. They, they have the engine, right? They made the that remaster first, so they mm -hmm. got like, yeah, so I... They, they, they do have two teams, so we'll see. Um, Lego DC Villains makes sense to me just because they, there was a big Marvel year this last year. It was, that was already leaked. That was already, yeah. oh, it already was? Yeah, that was that's, prior that's to this. Hinted at yep. and okay, cool. Dropped yep. around. Um, Insurgency Sandstorm is just one of the, it's just a title of a game, which I think does lend to the clemency of this because it, I don't know where that would come from, where that is. It's not coming on both consoles, so it's just a third party game from someone. It, there's an insurgency series which I've never played any of these. Oh so, yeah, so this is a thing. I don't. I've never played any of them. My okay. Point is, so like I went to work because right when that leak happened, I was out. I think I was texting you guys and I'm like, oh, this is weird. And so there's like three other entries in this series. It's not anything that I know of, but uh, it's an established franchise. Uh, Borderlands Three. We know is being is, worked on. That's yeah. So Wait, I Randy mean, Pitchford said multiple times. Oh boy. I think that's going to be called Border Worlds, but that's another. I'm not kidding. I Love think a that's girl. The, um, so uh, one of the one of the things the things that was announced of here was Rage Two. As a result, Bethesda was like, yeah. nah, 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 well, here's a picture. Here's, a, I mean, it's not Rage Two, but here's, I mean, that's weird. That's weird that you would no. say this. So today they dropped this sweet, t and and you could play it a little bit with with the volume up because it's just it's just a song, and if you could pull down whatever we played it for our intro too. But go ahead and go ahead and play this. This was just an announcement, uh, which. To me, totally changes the feeling of the world from the rad. first game. This looks incredible. Uh, okay. It's just a bunch of people, so, some sweet weapons, some we it, it, a desert. A lot of pinks. A lot of pinks, Stop. yellows, bright colors, but it looks very Mad Maxy. Uh, yes. In yep. in terms of just wa colorful wasteland, um, but I wonder how much that visual uh, will reflect in the game. Because when we're seeing these live action stuff, it's still very desert. It's still very kind of monotone. But these these little uh, action points with the other characters are in this bright color place. Andrew WK is playing. Yeah. Um, and this is this is uh, also being developed by the folks that did uh, the Mad Max game, right? Correct. And uh, Just Cause Avalanche Studios. Yeah. So 
that that to me says all right let's do just cause but and like the, all of that stuff coming together yeah. mm-hmm. makes me think that this they they listened to a lot of the stuff that the folks didn't like about rage one yeah uh, and they're just be like and eh, fuck it here you go <laughs> I'm pretty excited about like they like Bethesda has this like this track record of not letting go of their the IP names right like prey had nothing to do with the first one like a lot of people didn't even want to name that last game prey mm-hmm. And they still did. I'm excited about this. I think, like, uh, did you guys play the first Rage? Any of you guys? No? Part of it. Uh, this part guy of it. in the booth. Oh, Steve in the, in the booth. booth. Talk to me. You, how much did you like that, Steve? I liked it a lot. No. Um, I was checking out videos of it for quite some time. And uh, just it had a sense of fluidity with the AI and just the character movements that I thought was pretty something. Plus, it also, if I remember correctly, premiered the... Uh, the id tech engine that they used for the game, that was the first game that they used for it before yep. they moved that engine on to make Wolfenstein the New Order. Yep, mm-hmm. id tech 5. And Evil with it. M- Mega Textures was the thing. Yeah, I think it was like, I was so excited. It was, a, it was a commercial for their engine back when that was a big part of the business. But like, I, I thought it felt great. Like, uh, it was a little corridor for me, but the shotgun felt dope. And did you see that uh, the little boomerang weapon in the trailer? Yeah, the glaze. Yeah, it was so much fun. That game's great. I'm high hopes for this. I right? was a big fan of the Mad Max game. So, yeah. it, and, and it drove really well and it felt really well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Robbie is saying in chat that someone is, someone is, there's some predictions that it might be a Battle Royale game. It kind of gives off a vibe there that it could wow. have a mode. It does. Rage, Rage, it was a hu- like huge, vast areas yeah. of, of, of land. Uh, and vehicles a big part of it, destru- like destructible areas. Yeah. I, I think it could fit. As a BR game, kind of I hope that's ass. not all it is. Yeah, yeah me same, too. Same yes, thing. thank you. I definitely want a campaign. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, I, I didn't know. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it may just be conjecture. Well, I, I think the trailer kind of gives off vibes that we've gotten used to seeing battle royale games mm-hmm. being advertised lately. I think it echoes a lot of those kind of cues. Um, huh. But yeah, I hope that's not all it is. Yeah, it lends itself pretty well to a VR like world. It'd be a dope, a dope. Bethesda look. VR. Fuck. You get to customize. Yeah. Just, yes. I don't know. I, it could be fun. <laughs> yeah, I want assless chaps running around just shooting people. And, and also in the game. And, and yeah, also okay. in, in the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. correct. Mm. Um, well, speaking of hints that that were being dropped by companies, uh, I thought it was really cool that Battlefield placed a an east an Easter egg and an ARG hunt. Uh, it, it's wild that it. I don't know if it took this long for people to figure out or if people just started finding it. But uh, there's there's an area in the Fort Vaux map where um, you you have to hit a series of unlocks to open a vault door and in it there's a a painting of a horse and a jail cell and a couple of pools of blood and a dripping water and just dripping water like just drip drops and there was there was a a guy that figured out that it was morse code that spelled out a url that url led to a link that said may 23rd which is when we're going to be finding about out about the new battlefield game wow I appreciate people like yes, that so Yes, I know. Much. God bless them. <laughs> right? Like, thank you for having the time and dedication to, like, find oh, this. It's not going to be me. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, so thank you. Yeah. They've got a legacy of doing crazy shit like that. What was the one in Battlefield with the Megalodon, the shark? Do you guys remember this? It was like rumors. And like I do, of, but I forgot which one it was Battlefield in. 3, I think, there was a giant shark, and people kept saying, no, it's not true, it's not real, but, like, I think it was like if, if 30 people are in one spot floating in the water at one point, then it triggers the shark and this giant prehistoric massive. So this is crazy weird Easter egg that, like, again, took them a year to find. Like, how do you even trigger that? Well, and it, but it makes me wonder if people had always been looking for this if they or if they just started looking for it if or if they updated the map to have it, Oh yeah, yeah. like, mm-hmm. I don't know. usable. Yeah, I don't know, but to your point, it's, it's like, wild. Who are but, these people? Um, it's Thank it's you. it's one of the, like I like when companies like get us hyped about it. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But it, I, this sort of goes back to a question that I wanted to ask about um, the the Walmart leaks, and then another leak that I, that I wanted to bring up is do do leaks like these, whether true or not, ruin the event? Because there's so many get hype moments. Across all of the the press conferences, so like Sony like revealing God of War yeah. two years ago, that was remarkable, and totally. nobody saw that coming. But mm-hmm. um, people were like, oh, there's going to be a Spider-Man game, and then we saw the Spider-Man game, and we we're like, oh, it's real. But yep. but does anybody feel less hyped uh, with with any of the any of this news coming out? Not particularly. I mean, because we we get a bunch of names, 
And that's about <laughs> it. So, well, I mean, yeah. you don't get that much information. So you kind of start... On one hand, you start speculating, mm -hmm. and then if you get really hype about something and it's underwhelming or not what you expected or goes a different direction, then you might be a little disappointed. Mm. Um, but uh, so leaks, as far as like the Walmart one, though, are totally different than you know the leaking water <laughs> that yeah. we discover. I think. Boom. That, sorry, I'm. Sorry. That, was that was good. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that comes with a sense of accomplishment, mm -hmm. and that I think sucks you in more and makes you even more of a part. Careful there, EA. Oh my god. How do you guys do? You guys feel the same? Are you are you, like, are you more bummed about this? Are you like pro leaks, Nate? Do you I care? haven't been hype about E three stuff for many years. Who, like there's who hurt you, there's a man? few lots of game developers. Yeah, hurt right, me. fair enough. There's a few there's a few titles. You know, like Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, know? yeah, there's a few things that I will get hype about, but for the most part, like hearing a name, a title announcement, yeah. even like a non gameplay mm. trailer. I don't care. I want to play it. Yeah, you know, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So when the sure. game is out, yep. when the first reviews are coming out the week before, then yep. I'll get hype about stuff. But mm. a, a name about something that may or may not be coming out doesn't... For me, I'm like, cool. I'm yep. glad we're talking about it. It's nice that to know that people are making something, right. maybe, or that this is what people want to get. That's yep. cool. But I'm not, like, excited it's not yeah. enough for me yet. I think it's a bummer. Like, I, I, A, because, like, you, you put yourself in the, the shoes of the developers. Like, they've been working on this free games for three or four years. They haven't been able to tell their friends or family. And, like, to have it be unceremoniously leaked by fucking Walmart Canada, like, mm. thanks, man. When their day in the sun was just a couple weeks out, like, that's got to be a tremendous bummer. I also... I'm with you, but I, I hate the deflated, like, Vincent Bell a couple years ago. Do you remember the uh, Titanfall 2 leak? Yeah. Three weeks ahead of, of, of E3. And he, Vince got up on stage like... You guys have already seen this. Here's Titanfall. Like, he, like so deflated. Like, you guys all know this is a thing. Here's Titanfall. And it's like, as opposed to letting people just have that moment and, like, let it be magic for... And maybe it doesn't affect us to whatever degree, but, like, people get excited. Let these people have that moment. It sucks. And there, and there was a year where Jack Trent was like, and now the worst kept secret on the internet or something like that, yeah. which was, like, kind of joking about it, but... Hey, here it is. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and having those moments in the theater, or even just having the, like with the with the Nintendo uh, video, um, I, I there's still something about uh, a good Smash trailer that reveals a new character, yeah. or, or any anything that reveals something new. Um, and Stacey, to your point, in terms of titles, like it, it, this wasn't spoiled, or nobody really, uh, I don't recall it being spoiled or anything. But last year we got Ghost of Tsushima revealed. Yeah. And if I had seen that name on a thing, I would have been like, I don't know what that is. It's nope. probably an indie game. But seeing it presented like they did, and seeing like Sucker Punch. Yeah. And like it, for me, it's more about oh, good, they're working on stuff. Yeah. Um, which leads me to another thing that that got possibly got leaked today, okay. which is Retro Studios' yes. uh, Nintendo project, yep. uh, Star Fox Grand Prix, mm -hmm. uh, which pretty I'm pretty excited. Are you? If, okay. if it's real, <laughs> if it's real, because it, it they're they're claiming that it's got a lot of um, callbacks to Diddy Kong Racing, mm -hmm. and Diddy Kong Racing was a great revolutionary racing game that had boss fights and different modes of transportation, and if it's that, but with I mean, Star Fox has three types of vehicles. They have sea vehicles, they have air vehicles, they have land vehicles, and they have boss fights where you're just kind of going along on a thing anyway. So if it's just if it's that plus F Zero, sure. And Retro knows exactly what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, if if this is real, I'm excited about it. If not, I'll wait for Star Fox to come back. <laughs> well, it's got, I think it's probably real. Like, what was the last thing that Retro released? Is that a uh, Tropical Metro? Freeze? Oh, okay. Tropical Freeze was the last thing they reveal they they released, and then. And people thought that they were attached to the new uh, Metroid Prime, but then like, no, it's not us. Oh, um, uh, and supposedly no, they were working on another show, another show, another um, another game that had gotten canceled that might have been an original IP, um, and this is what this is what they got after that. Okay. Possibly. Okay. Um, but we, there's no but information. Nintendo's not commenting on it. Of course, they're not commenting no, on it. But um, even and and even if this is, is like cross brand or like the space version of Mario Kart where we get Captain Falcon or who or like whoever. Sure. Um but I, I, I think it could it could be something it could be something pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, I mean I'm a huge Star Fox fan. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite characters. Barrel. One of my favorite games. Do a barrel roll. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> Memes. Um, I'm excited to get a new uh Fox model because then that means we'll get a new Fox model for Smash. Yeah, I wonder if they debut the the racing game and then at the end when they show more characters from Smash it's the updated model. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
That'd be about it. Uh, so we with E three is like a month away. I can't like exactly that. a yeah, month away, and there's. Bruh, I, I'm I'm actually I, I, I did want to talk about this a little bit. Uh, Sony detailed what the, how they're going to be yeah. like showing their their conference uh, uh, or their their series of announcements, but they didn't give any theater information. They just said, "Hey, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, live.playstation.com. That's where you can go to watch it." Is is it Nintendo blazing the way again with their their model of the 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 directs? I don't. I like. I like. Their how cool was the like what they did? I, I wasn't there live, but like it looked awesome when they did the God of War and they had that whole like orchestra pit mm-hmm. and like. I thought the presentation really added to it. You didn't give a shit. Nope. Yeah, nope. He's dead inside. <laughs> nope. My point was it was a rad presentation. I but I'm I'm good either way. Like I'm not there live. I'm not going to be in the Sony theater, so I kind of don't care. But Most like, of I, it's just a trailer run now. It anyways. is. It so is. I'd rather them. D- give it better production quality and record, like, especially when you get all these awkward moments of people on stage, Dude, and people the, who should not be and talking the audience in front clapping of people. shots. Yeah, I'm with you. So mm-hmm. give them a, a yeah. camera and like six takes yeah. so they can do yeah. it right. Yeah, yeah I and can get see it. that. And, and also it, for the do, demos, for gameplay demos it, too. Yeah, they can do it. Right. Like, they can just do it so much better if they just kind of embrace the future, which I yeah. think is good because mm. it's people, not everybody can go to E3. Most people can't go to E3. No. Like, I mean, it's a yeah. trade show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I look at, but, but what this was but interesting. It's become more than a trade show. I agree. Though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Totally. Well, so, I mean, now that they have public tickets available now. Yeah. Uh, or again. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, so. even in terms of just like content and what, it's it's like the same thing you see with Comic Con, where like it used to be very much an industry thing, talking about like the games being created, and and there was a lot of promotion there, but it wasn't like that wasn't the main focus. Right. Mm-hmm. Where now every year it's like, what are people? You're like bringing things to show. Yeah, what, totally. This is what we're doing. Come buy this. Come play this game. Get excited. Yep. You know, I, I what were you gonna what were you gonna ask? Just I think I it's I. I it's, they talked about the big four, right? Like, I think that's interesting. Uh, also, Weir's Day is gone. Like, I know they just had the Game Informer trailer, but, like, come on, man. Like, that's probably yeah. the next one of these games that's coming out. And it does that does that say, like, yo, we don't have that much confidence in this game? Because that's what that feels like. And this is a weird thing to say. And yeah. why did they get out ahead of it, right? Because mm-hmm. if they had just debuted it and let everybody figure that out later, and but to literally omit Days Gone, like, yeah. to me, that's saying we don't have confidence in this game. So Sean Layden said that Sony's pre-E3 showing will feature exclusive looks and deep dives on four big titles, including Death Stranding, Spider-Man, Last of Us Part Two, and Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, and they also confirmed that there's going to be no hardware announcements this year. Yep. Um, they will highlight games from third-party uh, publishing partners and independent studios, but that it is very weird that there is no Days Gone. I still I haven't cared about that game since they announced it. I thought the coolest so, thing about it was when on the stage they made it look like like yeah, when yeah, they yeah, gave yeah, like yeah. the environmental thing and there was just that body hanging there. Yep. It was like yo, yep. but then they show the trailer and I didn't care. Yeah, I don't think anybody does. You know, it's interesting too about them saying that like. I, I don't know how they said that we will highlight, you know, like third party. Like I actually really thought this would be the first time in a long time that Rockstar might end up on an OEM stage mm. um, to talk about Red Dead. Uh, not that they need E3 by any stretch of the imagination, but they do have a, a co-marketing agreement with Sony this year. I thought for sure Sony would get them out on that stage. I mean, a stage, whether that is a small sound stage versus a, a oh, yeah, stage with yeah, people yeah, in the yeah. crowd. Who knows? Rockstar. Why? Huh? No PC. Mm. No PC. <laughs> Nate, <laughs> Nate something, something. Go crazy? Don't, Don't mind if I do. Anyway. Um, yeah, so, so like, we got we got these leaks. We got these rumors. It's a month away. There's, there's going to be more ways than ever to interact with the event. Everybody's kind of having their own side events outside of the show. Uh, Microsoft is having an event where, where the public can go, and it's not related to the floor at all. I know. Uh, EA Play. Um, what is, is Bethesda doing? What is Bethesda uh, doing? Is, I don't believe they've announced anything yet. Okay. They have a press conference. They have a press they time. Do. Yeah, but okay. I don't know no where off-site. Or, yeah. They're doing like a Burning Man thing out in the desert. For rage? For rage. Dude, yeah. I'd be a, I'd down. Be a Actually, that'd be pretty great. Down. <laughs> it's weird. They only invited 100 people. Donna, Donna, Donna. <laughs> that was a dumb PR joke. That was a PR joke. Was a PR joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes! That's what people come here for. Yep. <laughs> The hard-hitting Actually. humor in journalism that doesn't exist. Uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, I want to go to these events. That's what, one of the things about, about being in L.A. and being close to E3 and being a fan of this industry is one of the things It's like, one of these days I'm going to be sitting in those crowds. Yeah. And the, the, the further time progresses, the further away we're going to be from being in one of those crowds. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, let's let's assemble every contact we can and try to get in these crowds. Nate, you know what else happens? What else happens? Uh, a month from now, after E3. Uh, John Cena! Uh, Memes. What's that? Fighting game stuff? It's our anniversary. Because we did the because we started because we did the, the post E3 thing show. and then Aww. we started after that. <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth, Steve! But we're trying to have a moment <laughs> here. <laughs> uh, shut up, nerds. That's pretty great. I didn't realize that. It's a snuck up. Let's like, have like a all heart anniversary cake. Too. Let's have a heart cake. I have a feeling though that this year there's like, like especially with like this rage announcement. I have a feeling that so much stuff is going to be announced bef- by the time we get to E3. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think there's going to be any like. All right, we waited for this. I think everyone is like kind of waiting in the days before. Yeah. Well, because I remember last year the Bethesda thing had like. Um, uh, Evil Within 2 on it they had like it mm-hmm. it showed exactly what they were going to be doing and even the stuff that was like oh we're not announcing it yet was like in the font or right. like something that was even super clear so mm-hmm. it, it's a lot less of a oh we're, we're only talking about four games this well year. I think but also dude, too, I don't... like it's easier to have like a moment with like this rage yeah, thing yeah. when mm-hmm. not everyone is making you're it getting out ahead of the time. noise right. I totally agree and like we'll see a few more big announcements coming out I think not yeah. leaks but like I think people will get out ahead of it um, but yeah, so they, I think that's going to be interesting. But I don't know what else Bethesda has. Like, it's Rage this quarter. Like, for the rest of the year, they have one game on the roadmap, Rage, and we haven't even got a date for that. Hopefully, we get it tomorrow. I don't know what else Bethesda has. Elder and- Scrolls. Five Skyrim one more time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all right. Skyrim, we are phone. being Skyrim to Skyrim. So <laughs> Skyrim on your two. Switch, you can play Skyrim uh, in Skyrim. Skyrim two. on your Switch. Skyrim Battle Royale, guys. You, dude, it's barbarian, it's so barbarian battle royale right, writes itself. Dude, it's BS. I it, hit him with my false rod off. No, it's BR. <laughs> uh, like the Starfield is that this year? That was good. Was that, that Starfield? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So tiny. I know. Anyway. It's okay. Uh, but I mean. I, I wonder I, we, we who's who's gonna uh, t- drink the BR Kool Aid, uh, like Bethesda is having everyone, uh, everyone. It's completely viable as Smash a game Bros. mode. BR. Like uh, yes, it's stupid if you rip it off and you ch- you know you build your whole game around it like PUBG or Fortnite. But it's stupid. easy to take that and put it into Battlefield, to yeah, put it into I Call know. of Duty, to put I it into really Halo. Like it'd be so easy. Like no, you wouldn't do a hundred, but even just like twenty five. Division has a thing. Like that, they, there's there's some mode where it's only like ten people, but you go into some part of New York that's you know colder than it is already, and you gotta like get craft clothes for warmth, and you gotta get oh, yeah, food yeah, yeah. and stuff, yep, and like people can that. team up with you or you can kill them, and yeah. there's only so many people that survive. Like there's so many ways to do this BR thing in different games. So I'm not I, as long as they're able to take it and say, all right, how are we gonna do this? Yep. Not mm-hmm. just like yeah, let's copy them with our game engine. I'm cool with it. Well, so can we do a quick round and say, like, of the major, uh, like, franchises d- d- uh, or or publishers, like, who are we most excited about at E3? Yeah, let's do that. Why don't you start, person who brought it up? Uh, I'm gonna say Microsoft because they've got the most to prove. I like. I also we don't mm. know what's on their roadmap, so they're always a weird. Like, we know my, like Sony's a known quantity, so I'm interested in Microsoft and then Bethesda because I don't know. I have no yeah. idea what they're gonna do. I think like to, we got a pretty good idea of Ubi this year. Like, I don't know. So those mm-hmm. two for sure. Yeah, I always look forward to Bethesda, and especially this. I mean, because last year we were kind of saying there wasn't too much for them to do. So, or so, what's this year? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, Nate, what do you think? I don't really have one. That's most, fair. most of the, the like developers mm-hmm. that I fanboy or like Blizzard or yeah. Rockstar, or, like they yeah, can kill us by E3. Yep. So I'm excited to watch. My favorite thing is seeing trailers for games that I don't know anything about. Yeah, and being totally. like, Oh wow, this is really cool. I've never heard of this. Yep. And finding them out that way. So I'm excited for I that. I think from Ubi, we're gonna get a movie trailer. Oh, that'd be similar dope. like we what did for Assassin's Creed yeah. last Jake year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get something. But I think I'm I'm the most Division excited two. for Nintendo. Okay. Not not okay. just to be a fanboy, but no, yeah. I, I keep going back to that console because I can take it anywhere. Yeah. And, and, and I can really do anything with it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna change my answer to Nintendo because I'm excited to get details about Smash mm-hmm. and what other are the games they have down the pipeline. Because Smash is the one that's really making me want to buy a Switch. But if they can throw a few more games out there that I know, I'll I figure be into. we'll we'll see something of the Switch Pokemon. We'll see something from Metroid. Um, I want PUBG sure on Switch. Mm-hmm. Say what? I want PUBG on Switch. Keep dreaming. Uh, we're <laughs> gonna get H1Z1. Um, but I, th- oh, I think there's a. I, I think there Nintendo. Usually they just go, 
they, they have their whole thing and they have their whole announcement, but then you have to keep watching throughout the day because you're like, oh, by the way, we're making a new Earthbound game and we didn't announce it to right. press. Everybody's getting it here. We? I know. We're remaking yeah. it for the 3DS. Um, I'm actually excited to see what they do for the 3DS because they say that they're still supporting it, but ultimately... They the switch is their new mobile platform. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I'm excited to see what I'll be playing on the switch uh, later this year. Um, but uh, yeah, <sighs> as we move further to E3, there's either going to be uh, less stories to talk about, more leaks to talk about, or more to suppose and predict. I'm... And and you're we're gonna do it all here on Inventory Full PT. What am I, Patrick? What am I? <laughs> You are crazy for the bargains. What are you? I don't know. <laughs> yep. He's right. He's very tired. I am. That crazy. man's very wait, tired. Wait, wait. Crazy uh, for the bargain? Crazy <laughs> likes am, the bargain. I ganga. am crazy I likes well, the bargain. What is, what is that referencing? I don't, nothing. Like, I, I don't know, oh, one, of, one of those dudes he just with, a, a with a big cowboy hunter. hat selling yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That for, I will club it for a better or, deal. I will club a baby Gideon? seal. Or Crazy Gideon? Yeah. That was, it was a local yeah. television right. legend. That's I guess we know what at. our first uh, t shirt is going to be. Crazy for the deals. Crazy for the deals. I need I need to get my emote done first. Mm-hmm. Um, but thank you to everybody for watching this weird episode of Inventory Full PT. <laughs> if you're listening to us on iTunes, check us out on Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube, check us out on Twitch. We're at twitch.tv slash inventory full PT. But uh, until next time, Patrick. Yo. Uh, what are you playing? Um, where, where I'm going to finish God of War this week, uh, and you can find me at Peter the D's on Twitter. Oh, wait, uh, actually, I'm sorry. No. Um, Steve texted me. He said that somebody sent us a 30-second video. Well, excuse me, what? I don't let's know. Do this. Let's, let's, take a, let's, let's take a look real quick, yeah, Steve. Shout out to uh, Patrick D's. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did, Steve, that very good. did Steven literally make that over <laughs> yes. the past hour? Yes. <laughs> Adios, guys. It was... It's been, a, it's been a good run. <laughs> been bamboozled. The sad part is that, a, actually, that, that picture, that would be a really yeah. great memorial picture of you, too. I miss you guys. I know, I want that smiling over my tomb, so that's perfect. Totally. Yeah, thanks. I'm choked up. I want you I to am, know that well, well, Stephen told me I'm he was moved. very busy today. He had a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got some I shit to moved, do today. I am Steve. Thank you so much. Well, Patrick, you guys. now that you're dead, what yeah, are you going to be doing? Tweet at me. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, Give us your favorite yeah. Patrick memory yeah, and tweet yeah. it at him and he'll never <laughs> see it. It's like it'll be in his uh, mention box in the sky. <laughs> so good. <laughs> see, you see. Oh my god. I'm fine, guys. Hey, I'm Stacey Shuttles. You can find me all over the web at Stacey Shuttles. I'm going to play the Assassin's Creed DLC and maybe finish Far Cry. Nice. Do it. What's up, nerds? I didn't forget. You trash cans. (laughs) You can find me on all social media at Dog Like Nate. I'm going to be playing lots of Destiny this week because I'm addicted. So if you play Destiny on PC, hit me up, and we'll do some Crucible or whatever. See you also, later, trash cans. if you watch <laughs> Westworld, the I'm best so show on cans. television, you can catch me doing an after show for it Sunday at 8 on AfterBuzz. Hi, I'm Mark Bidonica. You can find me on Twitter at Mark Bidonica. Uh, I got a chance to see Deadpool 2 early in oh. a oh. spoiler-free review is going up on Nerd Soul, which is on YouTube at That Nerd Soul. So please check it out. Subscribe to that channel. Uh, I've, I've been doing podcasts with Michael for goodness like a year and a half two years at this point and and uh we just started doing some more stuff for his channel so please go check them out um uh, yeah a lot of things happening tweet at me at mark Bidonica. i don't know what i'm gonna be playing i would like to play more god of war but i've got about uh four things to do tonight boy. But boy. not a good time for a boy <laughs> um but uh thank you everybody so much for watching inventory full pt thank you to the folks at popcorn talk for giving us a studio to do our crazy weird show uh and let me scream uh you can find them on twitter at the popcorn talk please subscribe here on twitch for more goodness we're going to be streaming some games but for now let's go out to the sultry sounds of andrew wk bye everybody from producers maria menounos kevin undergaro phil svitek and the entire popcorn talk network we would like to thank you for tuning in For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network.